हेलो एवरी वन होप ऑल ऑफ यू आर प्रैक्टिसिंग द एक्सरसाइजेस एज पर द रिक्वेस्ट ऑफ यू ऑफ अवर पार्टिसिपेंट्स आई हैव मेड दिस वीडियो एक्सप्लेनिंग हाउ वी कैन रिप्लेस अ कंपोनेंट विद द इक्वेलेंट मास एलिमेंट सो लेट्स गेट राइट इन टू इट फॉर दिस सेशन आई हैव इम्पोर्टेड मास एलिमेंट डॉट एफ ई एम फाइल थ्रू द सॉल्वर डेक ऑप्शन एज डिस्कस मल्टीपल टाइम्स वेन एवर वी इम्पोर्ट अ न्यू फाइल इट इज ऑलवेज बेटर प्रैक्टिस टू गो थ्रू द फाइल चेक हाउ मेनी कंपोनेंट्स आर देयर which materials are defined what are the properties of material that has been defined then again go for the properties and check whether there is a cell section solid section or the beam section that has been defined check whether all the components have been connected to each other or not so all this checking i leave this up to you guys for this session our objective is to replace this cylinder and this cylinder with the equivalent mass element at the center of gravity So first thing that we are going to do is to extract the center of gravity of this two component. So first thing we require to extract the center of gravity is the elements. So if you have any component in the hypermesh, make sure that the component is mesh. Then once the component has been mesh, in order to extract the center of gravity, we can simply go for post. Then from the post, click on the summary. Once we click on the summary, here under the template file, you will find the particular path. just click on the load button by default i am in the optistruct environment but you might be in the different environment depending upon your solver so here let us go for optistruct again and these are the different different scripts that the alter has made in order to extract the required information so in this case i want to extract the center of gravity so just click on it and set it to open now the next thing we have to do is to check whether this script we want to apply for all the component or the display component as of now since i only have to replace the cylinder 1 and the cylinder 2 i will make sure that only these two things are visible once the cylinder 1 and cylinder 2 are visible make sure that the displayed option is switched on and just click on the summary as soon as i click on the summary currently he is asking me whether i want to overwrite existing or not since I have used this script previously that's why it is showing so let me set it to yes and automatically another summary page will open so here if i expand this little bit you will see the center of gravity corresponding component name its id the mass and the x y z coordinate of the center of gravity and the information of center of gravity has been extracted for cylinder 2 and the cylinder 1 you can check which is cylinder 1 and the which is cylinder 2 from the component next important thing that we have to do is to put the node at this x y z coordinate and put the mass element at those location so here let me copy this information in the excel sheet so i will just simply copy it open the excel sheet once the excel sheet has been open simply paste that information by default whenever we paste the information it will be pasted into only single cell but that's not what i wanted so you can click on this paste option click on this use text wizard and just say next next and set it to finish again let me just expand this one little bit and here let me copy this cell and paste it under the corresponding id once the information related to center of gravity and the corresponding mass of the component have been extracted only thing we have to do is to put the nodes at this center of gravity location so remember this coordinate and put the nodes at those coordinates similarly put the geometric position of center of gravity for the cylinder 1 once the node has been put we can press control and shift in our graphics window and you see the wireframe mode has been activated and we can clearly see the nodal position now let us delete this two cylinder because we want to replace them with the mass element so now we don't require the element again press f2 on your keyboard go for delete element by collector select this two and simply click on delete entity set it to return now 
Now the next thing that we will do is to create the mass element for the cylinder 1 and the cylinder 2. So right click over here. But here one mistake I have made. Currently I am not able to recognize the position of cylinder 1 and the cylinder 2. So again let me undo it. So let me go for D, none and all. Now you see this yellow color is nothing but our cylinder 1. So that means this positive y axis direction is our cylinder 1. So for a time being I will keep that as it is. Go for new, select component and here type cylinder 1 mass. Similarly duplicate this component and instead of cylinder 1 set it to cylinder 2. Now to create the mass element, we can simply go for 1D, click on the masses, make sure that the corresponding component has been activated, click on the mass and here since this is our cylinder 2, let me click over here and confirm again. So this is our cylinder 2, I can simply zoom in and select that particular node. Once the node has been selected, here it will ask you the corresponding mass. So for the cylinder 2, the corresponding mass is 1.63 e raised to minus 4. Put that information in the mass and simply say create. Again if you recall, all these mass are in the tons. So let me set it to create. And similarly, instead of cylinder 2, let me set it to cylinder 1. Just hide these elements. Go for return again. Go for masses. Select this node. And instead of 1.63, the mass of cylinder 1 is 7.07 .07 e raised to minus 5. So put that information over here and again set it to create. Now the next thing we have to do is to connect this con mass with respect to the bottom plate. It is general thumb rule that organization follows that whenever we want to connect the mass element with the components, we use the RB3 element. So here. Let me create another component calling it as a RB3. Then to create the RB3, I can simply go for 1D, RB3 and here it will ask me the dependent node and the independent node. So let me select the dependent node as this one. Rotate the model and you will find this is the print of that cylinder 1. So again press shift and left mouse button and make sure you are not selecting the below element. So let me set it to visible only on. And here you can set it to circle and simply create one circle. And once the node has been selected, simply click on create. In this way, we can connect the con mass with respect to the component. Same thing, we have to do it over here also. Select that node and again rotate the model little bit. And select the bottom node. And one last thing, we have to delete the rest of the element. So again I can go for delete, then go for by collector, simply set this one, oh, by collector, set this one, this one and set it to delete. And that's it. We are done with replacing the component with corresponding mass element. As simple as that. So there are few takeaways from this session. If you want to replace the component with corresponding mass element. The first thing you require is the center of gravity of the component and the mass of that component. To extract the center of gravity, we require the mesh. We can't extract the center of gravity from the CAD file itself. Once we get the information from the summary panel, then we can simply go for 1D, masses and create the mass element at the corresponding location. Another important thing is that whenever we want to connect the mass element, we can either use RB2 element or RB3 element. But generally in the organization, we follow the thumb rule and whenever we want to connect the mass element, we generally use the RB3 element. So now hope you got the idea. So I hope you have enjoyed the session. If you have similar kind of doubt, you can ping me so I can make the new videos on the same doubt. Till then, take care, goodbye.